plaintiffs, Tavon Jones and his mother, Alicia Biggs, say Alicia became pregnant with Tavon when she was 15 years old. And she always knew the defendant may be Tavon's father. So she petitioned the court for a paternity test. Defendant Michael Stansel says Alicia was his third girlfriend and he always tried to be there for her, both emotionally and financially. And he's here today because he wants to find out the truth about Tavon. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. All right, and Ms. Biggs and Mr. Jones, we are all here, Mr. Stansel, to determine paternity today, and we'll start with you, uh, Ms. Biggs. Okay, um, growing up, uh, I kind of had like a difficult childhood. Um, I wasn't listening to my mother, being rebellious, hanging out with an older crowd of girls, drinking, doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. Um, around 15, I became pregnant. I was with messing with Michael and another guy. Um, I thought the other guy was his dad. Um, but the more older he got, eventually he was looking more and more like Michael. Let me ask you first, just for informational purposes, uh, where were you when you were having uh, sex at 15? Where would you do it? We would go to hotels. Um, it was most basically hotels. Okay, and your parents, they you didn't have to account to them for where you were? Uh, no, because it was just my mom, my dad. He wasn't around. He wasn't in the picture. Okay, so you didn't have to account to your mom? Um, she was just dealing with her own demons at the time, so she wasn't really there. Okay. So, yeah, right. basically I was being grown. Yeah. All right. Making that uh, clear to the viewers that parental guidance and oversight is important. And if your child is unaccounted for or doesn't account to you, then you're liable to be doing anything out there. So the two of you, you and Mr. Stansel, when did you get started seeing each other? Uh, we started seeing each other, when was it? It had to be about 27 years ago. Where did you meet him? Oh, around the, we lived in like a small city in town. So I met him around, from being around um, my neighborhood, I met him from there. Um, you mean just kind of, what, he hit on you? You were walking or what happened? Oh, yeah. You um, were 15, yeah, and how old was he? I was I, I don't, I believe he was like 20. Okay, let me get some background from you, sir. Yeah, Judge, um, Alicia was like my third girlfriend. She was right, she did have some family problems. She was, you know, mature for her age and stuff. And, um, you know, she took care of her, um, her siblings. And um, like me, I was the youngest. And, you know, I was still trying to find myself. It wasn't like I was, you know, trying to, you know, pull on her and just, you know, just wanted to have sex with her and you know, just throw her away or something like that. I never conducted myself like that. And that's why I'm here today. Like, yeah. you know, I was, you know, I, I, I always tried to um, be there for her uh, financially and 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 even to this day, you know, so. Um, How many years did you all date? Off um, and on or whatever? Yeah, we were off and on for uh, ever, like, you know, like, like until like probably 10 or 15 years, like, you know, like it wasn't, and you know, like I was in a relationship also, you know, um, with, a girl more of my age, like, you know, I had a job, you know, and I was just like between them two and stuff. But um, I always tried to conduct myself and handle myself as a man. Okay. You tell me, however, how things went and uh, how it proceeded to you all having a child, if that is the case. Uh, tell me, how long were you all 
seeing each other before you had a child and you said you were seeing another person, but how long had you all been seeing each other? Um, about seven or eight months. Okay, and you got pregnant after seven or eight months, and then what? Um, I had my baby. Uh, my mother and my boyfriend was there um, with me when I had him. A boyfriend different from yeah. Mrs. Dancil. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my mom, she told me it was my decision to make because when I let her know that I was pregnant. What was she her concern about what had occurred? Getting pregnant, period. Uh, you shouldn't have done it. You should have whatever. She was, was she upset? She was Thanks. Upset. Yeah, she was crying. She was okay. yeah, devastated about it. And did she have anything to say about how you all were going to approach it with the young man in particular? Um, because my family knew him, mm -hmm. the um, boyfriend that I was with, they knew him. Um, everybody liked him and knew we were together. So she was just like, you have, you have to make it work. Okay. She didn't make a, they weren't angry with him or make a big deal out of it with him? No, she didn't. All right. It's like always, unfortunately, in our society, you blame the woman when there's a problem with couples. She okay. So you're the one who had to carry the burden and the criticism if there was some, and I think there probably was at such a young yeah. age, but you're the one that had to carry it. All right. And why are we here? To determine, um, obviously, uh, whether Tavon is uh, Mr. Stansel's son? Yes. Okay, and what gives you the impression that might be a possibility? Explain. Uh, because I was with him unprotected, had unprotected sex with him, and had unprotected sex with him with my boyfriend at the time. So I'm not, I'm not sure, but the resemblance is there. It's like undeniable resemblance between him and Michael. And so that's why I'm here today, just to get a paternity test. That's the one you're saying, Devon and uh, Mr. Stansel? Yes. Okay, I see a slight resemblance though, but for the most part, he's ugly and your son is handsome. <laughs> <laughs> so ugly people can't make handsome babies. Well, I guess you're pretty, so you're the one. All right. You're the one put the good looks in there. <laughs> All right. It do resemble a little bit, but uh, <laughs> what are you thinking, Mr. Stansel? Uh, what's your opinion, observation? Have you ever been approached about it and when and how did you feel? You tell me. Well, well, I, you know, I had a couple encounters with her boyfriend you know, over Tavon, and you How know, did, tell me about it. It was mine or him. Caught me going to meet Alicia a couple of times, and okay. came on us and was like, "What are you doing?" and all this and stuff. But for the most part, we we all been cool. You know, like I said, I just try to be a stand-up guy. Father. When did you first hear that um, Tavon might possibly be your son? I was kind of, like, around when he was, like, eight. Like, he, I was kind of in denial. But, like, when he was got around eight, they, he started even looking at me more, and I started to, had to start taking it more serious. I was in denial, but ever since then... Like I said, I always try to be there for him. Have you? Every type of way I can. Have you? Yes, I have. Yes. yes. Has he, man? Yes, he has. Oh, good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Not even being 100% certain, because that's why we're here today. And the presumption, as you had said earlier, was that it was your boyfriend's child. Yet, um, Mr. Stansel has stepped up to a responsibility that most men, if at any point you say, well, that ain't your baby, that ain't your baby, or oh, no more money, if nothing else. So if he stepped up to the plate financially in particular and emotionally certainly is a big one, but if he stepped up, that's, uh, that's hats off to you and you all are all in each other's lives still? Yeah, we're for All right, what do you want to say, Tavon? Tell me about your relationship with Mr. Stansel. How has that been over the years? You all seen each other much? Yeah, uh, yeah. We we stay in contact. We have each other's number. We go out to eat like a few times a month. 
Really? Like, yeah, we hang out, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. That's good. And how far back when he became uh, a significant part of your life? How old were you, if you can recall? Um, he'd been around since I was a kid, like since I could remember, as young as I could remember. Wow. You know, All the like while. Really middle school, like, was when we really started, like, you know, time, like, you know, hanging around each other, you know, me getting to know my sisters, mm. stuff like that. All the while, wasn't necessarily sure because mom wasn't sure. She was dating the other guy, the other boyfriend, and, and you had to wait and see how you looked. But as I said, you handsome and he's ugly, so I don't really think that. I don't really think this is. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I don't believe this your father, man. You good looking guy. <laughs> Well, sometimes it skips generations. This is your father. Have a good day. <laughs> Congratulations. Peace, peace. Feel peace, peaceful, finally. I'm happy. I, mean, I always knew anyway. I always thought that anyway. So, yeah, I'm happy. Glad. I'm glad. It's finally done. Yeah.